Uh, hello everyone, this is Pikashuta here and in this video we are going to talk about the tool called Pymol. Now before we get started with this tool, uh, I'll just give a quick introduction about uh, where you can get this tool, how you can download and install it in your system. Go to this link and you can click here, download now. According to your operating system of your computer, whether you're, you, you are using Windows or Mac or Linux, um, I, I suppose most of you will be using Windows, so, uh, but it's the same process. Uh, so you can uh, go here and it will be uh, an exe file, it's an executable file, so you can save it. So I have already you know, downloaded this, so I will just skip this process. If you're a new user, then you need to go and buy license here. You need to select the student and teacher, so this is the only option where you get to use the tool for free. Uh, you need to fill this form now after you hit continue uh, you are going to receive a mail in your uh, and then uh, you need to open that mail and there there will be a link for download and also there will be a link for the license file you need to click on the license file and uh, uh, it will get downloaded automatically and there will be a, a thing coming up like activate activate your pymol so you you are just going to click on the activate pymol and uh, go to the folder where there, where you have kept the license file and just click on the license file obviously it will be on the download folder so uh, you just click on that particular file and it will be activated and it will uh, show you like this right so i hope i'm clear and if you have any uh, confusion regarding installation of pymol please uh, drop your queries in the comments and i will be so happy to help you So you can open the tool Pymol from here and as soon as you open this is how it will look like so okay now you can directly fetch the molecule from PDB L U seven. so if you know the PDB ID of the protein then you can use this uh, this command called fetch uh, followed by the PDB ID and click enter and it will load the molecule for you otherwise if you have gone to pdb and already downloaded the protein structure okay so if you have already downloaded this in pdb format it will be somewhere in your computer in some folder in your computer maybe downloads or documents or something so you can go to file open go to that particular folder where it, it has been downloaded and click and open okay so i have already fetched the molecule from pdb i'm going i'm not going to reopen it again okay so this is how it is look like it, it is going to look like uh, so in today's video i will be uh, you know mostly covering the uh, the protein ligand interaction inter like protein ligand interaction visualization so you need to understand that pymol is not like uh, uh, some kind of analysis software but it is a visualization software although it allows us to perform certain very basic operations like measuring the bond distances bond uh, the different orientations but it is actually for the purpose of visualizing small molecules or macromolecules like proteins and ligands. Okay. So uh, after we have loaded the molecule, so whatever this uh, this thing that you see here in star marks, okay, this red color dotted thing, these are nothing but the water molecules. Now we all know the protein is made up of amino acids, right? So where is the sequence now? Sequence of the amino acids. So you to to in order to see the sequence of the amino acids. You can go right here down and uh, in the right side on the right side and you can click the s button okay so it will give you the sequence of the protein now as i told like whatever you see here in the dotted things all the dotted things like if you see uh, if you're yet selecting here from the sequence panel you can see this dotted uh, points are getting highlighted so these are water molecules now how you can delete these water molecules you can go to action and so yeah also, these are the important buttons here, A, S, H, S, uh, H, L, C, okay? A is for action, S is for show, H is for hide, L is for label, and C is for color. Now, uh, you can go to this action and you can delete, remove waters, okay? So, it is going to delete the uh, water molecules from your protein. Then also, uh, you can go to this S, <coughs> sorry, uh, in S, you can see the uh, uh, S is for show okay so it is going to show you the protein in different representations so 
so what are the different representations it can show you in lines so as uh, as soon as you click the protein as show as lines you need to hide the cartoon because it was previously it was visible in the cartoon format okay so here you can see the protein in the line format now what is line it's actually see every protein is made up of this all this amino uh, amino acids right so this particular protein is made up of all these amino acids and every amino acid has its own structure chemical structure so it is like connecting all the chemical structure as per this sequence so here is the serine sequence of the uh, structure of the serine okay so followed by all the amino acids you get this like uh, it is a representation of the amino acid structures like forming the entire protein okay so this is the line format now if you want to see it in the uh, let's say you want to see it in the cartoon format so you need to hide the lines okay so this is the cartoon format that we were previously seeing also uh, we were uh, i mean we were seeing this format previously also because this is the default format and mostly used in publications and all so this is uh, in the cartoon format what you basically see is the secondary uh, structure um, secondary structures so here it comprises of the anti parallel beta sheets so you can see this uh, arrows anti parallel arrows so these are the anti parallel beta sheets and and the alpha helices and all this coiled you know loop like structure these are called the loops and here whichever is in like a stick format that is the ligand okay so this protein is bound to this particular this particular ligand okay so this one and this one okay and also this one also there is one more um okay so this is the sorry this is the sequence itself okay so uh, this is the basic cartoon format now if you want to make it more colorful you can go to this color and you can click spectrum and rainbow so this makes your protein uh, appear very colorful uh, with all the rainbow colors okay and also if you want to show like uh, so we, now we are mostly exploring this show um, option okay so you can also visualize your protein in the surface format so if you see this in the surface format it allows us to visualize like all the cavities that are there in the protein so cavities as in like all the dents ups and downs you yeah? know so here this ligand is bound is in this particular cavity right so there is like a you know uh, in, in this pocket the li this ligand is bound however this ligand is bound in the surface so this uh, this visualization allows us to visualize it in the uh, sur surface format and you can change the transparency of the surface by going to this transparency go to surface and you can click 80% then it uh, you know, it becomes more transparent right so you can still see the surface uh, but in a very transparent way so you can play with this like whichever you are comfortable with like which which visualization gives you more idea about the protein so you can go ahead and uh, make it so now i have turned it off so in the show but uh, in the show button is actually different representations of the protein then we go to the hide uh, yeah actually we have simultaneously used both show and hide if you remember so now if i want to show this in the cartoon then i'm going to hide the um, surface right so this is how it looks like so almost we have explored the show and hide button now label is for labeling uh we will explore the labeling part a bit later but we can explore the color so if you are interested in coloring the ligands let's say for example this three ligands you want to color it so as soon uh, as soon as you select from here there will be this you know selected um, option coming right here in this panel which means the re it will uh, like it will take uh, it is the region what what you have selected okay so now if you want to change the color of the selected region then you can go to whatever color i mean of your choice you know you can change it okay now so you have a uh, kind of changed the color for the ligand also now let's say in in some proteins you are particularly interested in only uh, one certain region of the protein not the entire protein okay so this is the entire chain a and 
the B, uh, this is the chain B of the protein. Now, let us say you are only interested in certain region, ok. Let us say from amino acid 90 to um, let us say 100, ok. So, you are interested only in this particular region. So, like I told, you have selected this region. So, there is a select, uh, it, it gets pop, I mean, there is a selected region here, here also. You get, I mean, in the left, uh, right side, you get this selected region. Now, you can rename the selection. So, let us say area of region of interest. Um, region 1, okay, region 1 or of interest, whatever you are comfortable with. Okay, so, I am just saving it as region 1. So, now what will happen? Whenever you want to do some things with only this particular region, but you are not interested in the entire protein, only this region, then you can go to this, select this and change color or you know, uh, okay, it is already in front. So, make, maybe you can make it yellow. So, yeah, so now you can see it has become yellow or you can show it as dots. Okay, so this particular region is become has become like a in the dotted format. So like this, you can do various operations. Okay, now we are going to um, delete selection. Okay, so we have deleted the selection, and we want to make this. Um, so okay, we are going to hide the uh, dots. So, it is back to the default, right? <laughs> Sorry. Now, um, so uh, in this video, like I told, I will be particularly showing you about the protein ligand interactions, okay? So, for that, so these are the ligands that you can see here. So, I have told like so these are the ligands in this protein, not AVL, oh, this one, this one, and this one. These three are the ligands in this protein. Now, we want to see the interaction. Like for now, we just see the protein and the ligand, but we don't exactly know in which residues they are interacting. What is the bond they are forming? Uh, what is the bond distance? So all of these parameters we don't know yet. So we want to explore that particular part. So here we go to action and we go to preset and we go to ligand sites, then cartoon. Okay. So now when you are going to this option, it it, it see you can see these bonds right you can see these different bonds that are forming between the ligand and the protein molecule now what you can do is because uh, this is still not i mean it may still not be very clear because it is still in the cartoon format we don't exactly know it in what which residue it is bonding right we may not exactly know like of course when you select it is possible but maybe not very clear so we are going to change it in the line format so action so here we are going to show it as lines okay and we are going to hide the cartoon okay so now it it becomes very clear so so you need to select whatever the residues that you know the, your the ligand is making interactions with and you can hide the rest so this is a bit tricky part but it is so you don't want to miss any interactions okay so from here you see these are the two bonds which are going uh, so you have to select the uh, you have to select the uh, like the residues with which it is forming bond okay so here is the other one yeah now okay so here you can what you can do is hide uh, hide the unselected um, so this one you can show it as as sticks okay so these are the regions where your ligand is interacting with the different uh, amino acids 
Now you want to label these amino acids. Now we don't know, like we know that these are the amino acids with which the ligand is interacting with, but we don't know what exactly are these amino acids. So we want to label. So for labeling, we can go to this residues. Okay. So these are the residues that our ligand is interacting with right now we want to see the like the bond length like what is the bond uh, like the we want to measure the distance between these bonds okay so for measuring the bond we need to go to this uh, wizard and then measurement okay then see here it says disk click on the first atom so we are clicking on the first atom and then we are clicking on the second atom right so this is the bond between these two atoms then again please click on the first atom this and then this okay so like this we can measure the bonds distances okay so again we have this particular bond here right okay so then done okay so this is the region like when you want to like show exactly in the entire protein where your ligand is binding so this is the method that you are going to follow to show the region exactly where your ligand is interacting with so this is the protein basics of the protein ligand interaction you can of course change I think we missed this yeah so there is oh no um, we have removed this because uh, it has not uh, any interaction it, is, it does not have any interaction with the protein also you can change this particular ligands color and make it more distinct like red color right so this is the basic protein ligand interaction and you can go to settings and display because your uh, I mean if you want to publish this kind of work then it will not accept the black background so you need to change the background for that you need to go to display background white okay so this is how it should look like now if you want to export this particular image then you can go to file uh, export images png or mostly of course png so right save okay F give the name for the i mean whatever name you want to save this image and you can save it okay then also there is this option called rock so it helps you know it just rotates the protein molecule ref left and right so you can like in one in one orientation if you see like all the bonds are not equally visible right so if you rotate it then it becomes clear so this is one option which you can explore okay now we are going to um, the entire protein and show as cartoon okay so So if you want to uh, also like if you want to export some kind of image like this like where you want to represent the protein in the cartoon format along with the residues labeled and the interactions so uh, and the bonds so if you zoom see there are the bonds but here it is in the cartoon format like along with there we took the snap of only those uh, re interacting residues and the ligand but here we have the entire protein and the ligand so you can also use this format and uh, you can also use like you can also use this option to you know export your uh, export image okay so these are the basic things that you can perform with the tool called PyMol and uh, so you can practice and have fun and uh, also if you have any doubts you can put it in the comment section 
and I'll be happy to help you. Thank you.